ABRF is probably the number one meeting for networking for life science core labs. Um, and if you're just starting out or you're part of a life science core lab, uh, when you enter ABRF, you'll develop friendships and relationships and networks that will maintain you through your whole career in a core lab if you want to. And any time that you run into problems uh, in the lab, you can actually count on your network to help you solve your problems. So um, that has been substantial for me. Um, and without ABRF, there's no way I could have ever advanced as far as I have in, in a core lab or even a professional society or world. In the lab. It seems like every time I come to this meeting, there's a slew of new technologies that are exactly relevant to some project that I've either got cooking right now or I plan to do in a few months. And there's always an answer to be found uh, among the vendors and the technologies that ABRF sponsors. Well, the thing is, we just hand them out. There's a lot of things that I always hear about. What does it We've had great discussions, especially on cell line authentication. It's trying to do a general education on why it's important, and we've had a lot of people stop by and say, yes, I do that. It is really important. I need to talk about it, and others who stop by, I need to start doing it. So it's been very positive for us to get out there and talk to people, and it's led to other discussions about other chemistries and reagents. Coming to this meeting is uh, it's a no-brainer for me. Dealing with the customers, dealing with uh, uh, the administration, we have to deal with a lot of people. So training in the technique is not enough. It doesn't cut it really when you're running a lab. You have to do all managing the people, managing the money, managing the assets. So ABRF provides those, uh, you know, that platform for you to really appreciate how all these things play, interplay. You know, I think the most important thing about ABRF is that the scientists that are participating in it are core scientists who are not always in the tenure-track faculty positions at our universities and, and ABRF provides a, a venue for them for training, for experience, to, to meet one another and to advance their science and to make the course ever so much better. And I heard of ABRF so I went there and I learned everything about you know how to run sequencers to how to deal with uh, customers, how to not being shy about new technology. The BRF also enabled me to be a scientist because I also present on my, you know, on my research. So it's actually a, a very good meeting for that because it complements the two sides of my brain. When you're all the other things, you have a very large amount of this, this small group here. It's a lot of fun, a lot of really good talks and the chance to meet people. It's really nice, especially other people who manage their own co-facilities who have face all the same challenges I have and I'm looking forward to meeting some of them so I can pick their brains and look for some mentorship opportunities. And... This, this blend of uh, which is unique to ABRF between the vendor and the scientist has now moved to the administrator as part of it and I think the combination of the three is extremely powerful in terms of making the case that core facilities are part of the research infrastructure that we have to nurture and develop it's cost effective, it makes sense at so many different levels, and the ABRF is the only place where this kind of conversations are taking place. ABRF, it saved my life and opened my career. And then I see my friends every year.